This is to show you how to do a quick scroll um, because I feel some people might be having a little bit, bit of a problem doing that. Um, okay, now if you notice my pencil, it's a little bit thicker than most. It's, um, I, I would uh, suggest that some people should use a slightly uh, larger or thicker pencil if they're drawing larger because I've seen uh, some of the larger effects that people have uh, drawn and they seem to have drawn it with a very fine pencil and that you cannot really get the same result. Uh, yes, do it when you're making it very fine. Okay, we'll start with this. This, this construction I've shown you before, but we'll make it into an oblong, this first, you see, so that gives you the distance, like a, it's like a brick, shall we say, for a house. Okay, so now we're going to start by this this uh, uh, section first you say it's about two thirds down here so we will go up there and now as i mentioned before we're going to f um, do a pathway around like a road because you're going to go around to the center that's the building you want to aim for so here so now we will start with this so here is what maybe what a scroll would look like because it will have a little bit more distance between here if it's flowing but for the sake of this we, we can make this into the seed of the the scroll if we want to just make one scroll where all the other scrolls are coming from now you see this line here so now i have more or less with this on the third here taking it up to here okay so now I'm going to take this one across here to form this pathway here to this distance. So now I have this distance here, so I'm doing this here. I'm going there. And it's angular at the moment. It's a square. It's brick upon brick. Okay. Now you're going to get your chisel. <laughs> you're a mason. So now you want to clip the ends off these here so you're going to clip that off and you're going to clip this one off but that one is going on this here so you formed your paving area your buildings could come here if they were on the road you see so now you're going to come here you're going to clip this one off because you still need to want the same distance here to here then you're going to clip this one off and you're going to clip this one off and you're going to clip that one off now you're seeing what they're doing so all these clipped edges see there's your pathway still here your road is here so now I'm exaggerating right, that's what I would have done I would have done it clockwork you, right, you see anti clockwise anti clockwise see not the other way around. Uh, so now, here we go. It's angular at the moment, so we'll round them off. We will take this here, and we will round all these areas off here. Here. It's not very smart. It's just, it's just rough at the moment to show you how it will look. I'm actually holding my pad on uh, my lap so maybe I'm a little bit awkward but there you are so now we have this movement here so we've got our spiral of the scroll there you go and that's the simplicity of this one because I find that people don't rush your scroll first look at it from different angles turn 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 look at it from another angle turn again turn again but you can see how if you want to be a geometrical and too technical which i don't really but i'm just pointing this out but you can see how it can break up into sections like so you see they're all little squares so it's all built up geometrically in that sense if you want to um, think in that way.
It's okay. So now this would start here, for instance, which is halfway down here. And you will do the same as that, taking this area here in to form that. So you would have the starter scroll. Lesson one.